Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are just gonna focus on a cozy, warm winter day. We are going to be eating in abundance and following a eating a rainbow kind of life. So I'm just trying to incorporate more fruits and veggies into my diet. I am still gonna be having more fruit um, because it just makes me feel better and I feel I'm at my optimal when I'm incorporating more fruit. So you will be continuing to see that going into the new year. So it is a winter storm today, but I'm going to walk to the gym because that's possible for me living in Toronto. We can walk to many things, which is a perk of living in the city. So I'm gonna to walk to the gym, get my workout done, and then head home and just focus on getting some nutrients in. So I am on a sweet potato kick lately. So I've been incorporating a lot of sweet potatoes in my meals. That has been my main component of my starch. So I like to have a main starch, sweet potato or rice, regular potatoes. And then I also incorporate non-starchy veggies. And then also sometimes if all I have is starchy veggies, that's okay, I'm having that as well. Um, just making sure that I have an abundance and a variety into my diet because it's really important in order to get enough nutrients and vitamins into your diet. And even if you're not vegan, have an abundance of fruits and veggies, as many as you can possibly get in. So yeah, I am just trying to work on that and getting uh, my diet in check. That is one of my things that I wanna work on, my health and wellness, get myself to the healthiest me I can be. Uh, so this year, that is one of my focuses and just getting a lot of extra nutrients into my body. Since I work long, long shifts, um, I feel like I have been quite depleted in the last months of the year. And now it is time to make sure that I am feeling at my optimal and just working towards getting healthier. So it is freezing cold. So I'm all bundled up in giant sweaters, layered up completely. Um, and it's... I don't know, I've been really thinking about following the seasons and how that impacts us. If we follow what Mother Nature is doing, if we follow and look outside of what, you know, is happening in nature, things are slowing down, things are calming down. It is time for us as well to be having that slow time, you know, having that extra time to journal, having that uh, slow morning with your cup of coffee you know, reading more, just having those soups and stews to feel cozy and warm and, you know, just slowing down life. Um, this isn't a time for, you know, being productive and getting all these things done, even though it's the new year and people are talking about all their new year's resolutions. It's actually a time to slow down and just really relax. This is a time for yes, ideas of things you want to do, jot those down, journal on them, reflect on them, slow down, take it in. And then that way, if we rest enough now, when spring comes, we have all the ideas, we know what we want, we have reflected upon it, and then we can really go for it because we've rested, we've thought about it, and we have, you know, not rushed into things because we've had all these months to kind of let things sink in and what do I really want to do and how do I really feel? And then when the spring comes, and all your new ideas are there, you can really, really go for it. And by summertime, you are in the go, go, go mode and being super, super productive. So this is something that I'm starting to do now, following the seasons and really taking that time, especially now during the winter months, to slow down and try to do as little as possible. And that doesn't mean you're not productive at all, because of course we are but we're not putting the pressure on ourselves to be super productive. In a nutshell, this is a time for slowing down. You're gonna see me uh, trying to just have those cozy, warm winter days. My days off are gonna be filled with less busyness because all of the crazy harvesting from the garden in that transition period from fall into winter is now complete. Um, you guys are going to see me making tea bags because I am really focused on getting all that nutrition in for the winter and I spent all summer, you know, growing my teas and then harvesting and drying everything so that I can enjoy it in the winter and have that nutrition. Um, and then I know where my tea is coming from and I know that it's healthy and it doesn't have any pesticides on it or any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, just slowing down, filling up my tea bag slowly, listening to my podcast, reading my book, just being very 
slow, calm, and relaxed during these winter months. Um, especially because I have sad, I have to focus on the positive things and not overwhelm myself because these long winter months are very difficult for me. So we're going to try to make it as best as we can. And this is how I'm going to be doing it this year. So let's see how that uh, works and how it helps me with sad. And I will be making a lot of cozy stews and soups. So if you are interested in those cozy meals, then definitely stick around. If you like starch solutions style kind of, of eating, this is also something that I do. I uh, like to follow Dr. McDougall's way of his diet and lifestyle because it works for me personally might not work for everybody but for me it does and yeah we are just going to be doing a lot of those videos so thanks for being here guys and let's just get into the video when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Oh You and I We got it Okay guys, so I am having fruit in the morning. I had a pineapple that my parents gave me and it had to be used. Um, and you know what, it was actually perfect. I thought it may be too far gone um, and I kept it out for too long, but actually it was so perfect. It was so sweet and so delicious. This was probably one of the best pineapples that I have eaten at like all of last year for sure. Um, other than Portugal, of course, because their pineapples are delicious. But um, here I've never, been able to buy a pineapple this sweet and delicious so yeah that was a score uh, thanks to my parents for this yummy breakfast so I decided to have my pineapple and I'm just using my little pineapple core little gadget this gadget is so amazing because you don't waste any pineapple at all so if you do find it it's not a gimmick this thing works beautifully and then I'm able to take out the core completely and then I use that in my smoothie later on or I keep it in the freezer in a ziploc bag and then I use it at a later date but that way there's no food waste at all you get all the pineapple used up and you even use the core so I've been having most of my fruit earlier on in the day I might have like an apple for a snack in the evening um, but that's pretty much it all my fruit consumption is early in the day and it helps me feel energized and I just feel so much better consuming more fruit and I do that during the early uh, part of the day and I'm just showing you guys how little there is of waste on this pineapple like it's literally skimmed right to the edge um yeah this little gadget is amazing so yeah um this is it so it turns out perfect only a couple slices were left over but yeah pretty much I ate the whole thing and then after the gym I decided to have a smoothie I've been incorporating smoothies again um, as much as I can at least on my days off and then sometimes I'll actually bring a smoothie with me into work as well since this has been helping tremendously with my energy levels and keeping my energy levels higher and so yeah so that is a very simple and easy breakfast very light and very fresh not very wintry um, but it's what I need right now in order to get through this time period and increase my energy. So for lunch I decided to just have some roasted sweet potato, I had spinach and I have green bell peppers that had to be used up so I've been using those and this is just an oil free hummus and it's super simple and easy. I just squeezed some lemon juice on top of my greens and that was it, a perfectly healthy and delicious lunch. So 
So for dinner, it was just a hearty and warm soup. Again, sweet potatoes being the star of the show. And then there's regular potatoes and there are carrots and there is some kale from my backyard actually. Um, yeah, so my uh, dad just cut some kale in the backyard and he brought it home and my mom made this lovely soup and yeah, he literally brings it to me. I have literally the best parents ever. So yeah, I had that for dinner and then just a hot chocolate in the evening and that is it and a nice cozy winter day getting in a lot of nutrients and as many colors as possible with my fruits and veggies. Yeah.